Welcome to the Using Spotter lesson, which will focus on the classic spotter experience. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to recognize the various elements and features found in the spotter interface. Understand how to begin a conversation by asking spotter a question, then gain more insights by asking follow-up questions. Understand the features in Spotter that provide you with full transparency into how it arrived at an answer. And finally, understand how you can provide feedback on Spotter's answers to help improve the results. Let's take a look at Spotter, your dedicated AI analyst in action. Spotter lets you ask business questions in natural language to deliver reliable answers in an intuitive conversational experience. Before using Spotter, you will want to ensure the correct data source is selected from the Select Data Source dialog box. Note that only data sources with the Spotter icon next to them are Spotter enabled. To start a conversation, all we need to do is submit a question or request in the search bar. Let's ask, what were the best performing products last year? Then we can press the Enter or Return key or click the Send button. It generates an answer to our question immediately. Note that although best performing is a somewhat ambiguous statement, Spotter interprets this to refer to top sales and sorts the result automatically from highest to lowest. Spotter translated the question into keyword-based search tokens, allowing you to easily verify the generated answer. You can hover over search tokens to learn more about each. In this example, we can hover over the last year date token to see a brief explanation of the filter and its values. We can hover over the attribute token product to see a description and sample values of it. If we click on more details from the attribute pane, we can see column statistics, such as how many unique values exist, date type, and source. The search tokens and the details that appear on hover gives us full transparency into the query, including the attributes, measures, formulas, and filters used to construct the answer. You can toggle the display between chart and table easily by clicking the chart icon. Spotter has returned an answer that only contains the data relevant to the question. If you want to understand the overall data in the data source, you can use the preview data option to look at a sample of the columns of data available. This can help guide you on any follow-up questions you may wish to ask. Note that if you continue asking questions in the same thread, Spotter treats each question as a follow-up to the previous. With our next follow-up, let's say we don't know exactly which column name or keyword we want to reference. We can use a shortcut to find the most relevant one. Let's say we know there are store locations in the US state Minnesota, but we don't know how the stores are labeled in our data. We want to analyze these trends for a specific store location though. We can type the at symbol, then the first few letters of the column name or value we're looking for. As long as the source data table and model is indexed for search, a suggestion box appears to complete the word. This works for column values, keywords, and filter values. In this example, Spotter suggests the state column called Minnesota. It also suggests two values for the store column. These are two store locations in the state of Minnesota. Because we're interested in these sale trends for this particular store in the state, we'll select it. The shortcut pastes the column and its value directly. Feedback on the accuracy of the answer can be submitted by clicking the check mark or the X icon. This feedback can be used to train Spotter to provide more accurate insights for your business. We'll look more closely at providing feedback and coaching Spotter in a later lesson. The charts and tables are interactive, so you can drill down and find additional insights from your data. Once you've uncovered useful insights, you have several options for using an answer beyond the spotter conversation. To pin an answer to a live board, click the pin button. Then, select the live board you want it to go on. If you want to save it as a standalone answer, click Save. Then give it a name and confirm the save. If you want to share your answer outside of ThoughtSpot, like in a presentation or a spreadsheet, you can download the answer as a PNG 
XLSX, or CSV file. As discussed, Spotter maintains the context of your questions such that each question asked is a follow-up to the previous. If you want to ask a brand new question, simply click Reset. And begin your new conversation. Now it's your turn to go use Spotter.